culture and heritage. The jazz concert will exhibit an intergenerational blend of South African musicians, including renowned jazz guitarist Silailo Silota, Kwai jazz founder Don Laka, Zoe Modicha, Banda Banda, and uh, Gina Mabasa. Now, to share more on the concert, we are now joined by Don Laka. Very good morning to you, Brad Don. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome back to Morning Live. Good morning, Thanks for having me. Indeed, uh, this celebrates Africa Month, uh, the arts, heritage and culture. Let's talk about how this will be reflected in the concert. Well, uh, uh, I, I think the United Nations, have, uh, what says, uh, the AU has uh, uh, made a conscious decision that uh, this year apparently should be uh, celebrated as a cultural year and uh, focusing on this month as a cultural month. And... Uh, our government has always been in the forefront of, of getting the cultures up there. And then I'm hoping that uh, it, it reflects on, on the people, on, on, on what the, the, the vision is. And uh, we will be celebrating this on, the, on, on Sunday at the 30th at, at, at this own uh, Pioneer Museum in, 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 uh, in, in Twani. And what does it mean to be an African, Bradon Laga, and still be included in this Africa Pioneer Museum lineup? Well, and uh, the most important thing for me is uh, uh, being an African is that uh, we have to go and relieve what Africa was before colonialism. Mm. And, uh, you know, up to today and the advancement that uh, uh, it, it has contributed to uh, human civilization. And uh, I think we are on the path now of, of renewal of going back there to relieve that because we need to know where we come from so that we can chart the way forward. Uh, and uh, remove most of the, the, the trappings of colonialism that has uh, infested uh, African people in here and in diaspora. So this month is very crucial and it's very important month. Let's talk about the role that jazz music plays in terms of uh, uniting people. I mean, as Africans, we need oh, unity is all we need in order to fight these social ills that we face on a daily basis. And I know that jazz music in particular uh, comes into the mix. Let's talk about the extent that uh, it plays in uniting people. Absolutely. Jazz was actually protest music when it was started. If you, if you follow the history of American uh, African Americans in, in the U.S. Uh, it has always been protest music in, in in the 50s, in the 60s, and South Africa actually also adopted the, the same stance in, uh, during the fight of apartheid. And also, jazz musicians were in the forefront. Hugh Masekela, Abdul Ibrahim, Miriam Makeb. You, you look at uh, all the history of South African music is is actually rich with jazz people who were in the forefront of fighting the, 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 uh, the apartheid regime at the time. So what are you looking forward to on Sunday? Well, I, I, uh, interestingly for, for me, and I, I've, I've been releasing albums almost every year. Mm. Last year I released an album called Undo, meaning One World, um, making people to come together. And, uh, you know, the world has, always now, has now become one. And I'll be performing material from that album, plus new material unreleased, which will be released this year. So it will be a mixed bag of, of all the old hits and the new songs. And the, yeah, it's exciting because COVID has really wreaked havoc in, 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 the, in the arts industry. And uh, this will be the first, I think, uh, uh, concert of its kind. And um, it will be my first uh, uh, performance. And many of us uh, in, in a year after, you know, uh, uh, the COVID has actually shut down the industry. So are you going to sample some of the, you know, still to be released hits in tomorrow's concert? Absolutely. It will be interesting because uh, uh, the guys who've been in, in rehearsals and, and trying to make sure that uh, it goes down very well uh, with the people. It will be a testing ground for me, with the new material also, mm, uh, mm. besides playing that people know. Uh, but it will be a testing ground. I always like, like to... Uh, test the, the waters first with the new material, you know, uh, before it's uh, uh, been out there released. Yeah. Now, Pradon, as on, on a sad note, the, this past weekend we lost Trompies and Galawa Jasmi co-director, uh, and uh, we do understand that this funeral service has already started. He'll be late to rest today. So what are your fondest memories that you share with Mjokes? Mjokes was an incredible person, and uh, I was relating that... Uh, he would be the first person to walk into the studio, walk into the meeting. He's always been on time. Mm. And he was the only, it was one of the people that uh, would always just 
if we could not pass by without him giving me a call to check on me. He said, Elder, how are you doing? How, you know, things like that. He was just, and uh, his humor actually just, you know, absolutely, that's what we really enjoyed, having having him around. And uh, his contribution was just amazing. And as part of, of Kalawa team, um, you know, um, I, I would attribute many of the things that uh, we did correctly uh, to him and, and and the rest of the guys. But uh, we'll, we'll make sure that his legacy lives on as Kalawa just. Yeah, and how will you always remember the legend? And how should South Africans and all lovers of uh, Trompi's music remember him? Yeah, well, well we, we, as, as you know, we were we, we were the pioneers of 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 of, uh, of Kwaito in the country, and as I say, the contributions that were made. I mean, if you look at, you cannot go to a concert or Kwaito concert without having any Kalawa the music there. Uh, you cannot go uh, talk about Kwaito without the history of Kalawa jazz me. It means that Mujoks has always been part of that as a as a as a, as a, as a, as a member of, of of the company and as as member of of Trumpies. Uh, you know, he his his lesson, as I say, his legacy will live will outlive many because this you remember it was started Kalawa. So besides Kalawa, the the Kwaito genre was started right at the beginning of. Independence. All right, Pradon Laka, great chatting to you, man. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, for those who will be unfortunate enough not to attend tomorrow's concert, how would they access, you know, your new material? Well, the material will be available on uh, on uh, digital platforms. Okay, um, that's where actually most of it will be. But I, I, I always like to have few CDs printed out there, and there will be those who will be likely to grab them. Unfortunately, now, the place where we used to sell most of our CDs, which is a, a, a CD, what is it? Um, Musica. Uh, Music. Musica. Musica has... Yeah. Music has shut this stone. So mm, it, it mm. has become difficult now to really reach the people there. But we will make other means that uh, people can get direct from us. We, we, I'll, I'll put up a link on my Facebook page on how to access uh, those who want physical copies. Yeah, please do that because, you know, there are still those who uh, still believe in uh, CDs and, you know, they're not so privy to technology and uh, streaming and downloading music. All right, so Pradon, Pr great chatting to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Okay, good stuff. The Dizong Museum will bring you an exciting musical lineup at their first jazz concert and we just spoke to music legend Don Laka.